Number 70. What is the rate law for the elementary teramolecular reaction 2A plus 2, actually A plus 2B yields products, and then 3A yields products? So it seems like we have two um, different answers we got to give, but for each one of them, we have to give a rate law for a elementary reaction. An elementary reaction is a single step reaction. So what you see is what you get. So in this case, when we're going to do the rate law for A plus 2B yields products, since it was classified as an elementary reaction, what you see is what you get. You only have 1A, 2Bs, and it's just going to make a product or whatever it is. Ter molecular, ter comes from tertiary, which means the number 3, and molecule, if you have a teramolecular reaction, that just means that you have three molecules in the reactants. So this is just kind of giving more context to your uh, elementary step here, where you have one A plus two Bs, you have a total of three reactions, so it's teramolecular. But the good thing here is that if you're trying to solve for a rate law for an elementary reaction, it's the generalized rate law formula, but with a little twist. And here it is right here. For any elementary step, doesn't matter whether it's unimolecular or, and I'll, I usually say elementary step, but I guess we'll say elementary reaction. Elementary step, elementary reaction, same thing. Um, for any elementary reaction, your rate law, oh boy, what happened here? Your rate law is going to be rate equals K times the reactants. But the only difference here is that since you have only one reaction and that's what you get, the coefficients will match up with your rate law. So in this case, and maybe what I'll do is, I guess we'll put it on this side. To make our rate law for this reaction, it would be rate equals some rate constant. When you're writing the rate law, you don't even have to give a value for it. But now we just have to make it specific for what reactants there are. There are two reactants here, A and B. And if it's an elementary step, which they did say that it was, we have to include both of them. So we have A and we have B. But now, since it's elementary, those coefficients are the exponents. So we have only one A, so A would be raised to the first, and you have two Bs. Maybe what I'll do like that, right? So you have to raise the B to the second. You can raise the A to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. So this would be your rate law for the first one. Now we just have to do the second one. 3A yields products. I'm assuming that this is also going to be a ter uh, molecular elementary step. And for this one, you only got one reactant and it's raised to the third, right? You got three of them. So rate equals K times, you only got one reactant, which is the A value. Ooh, what was that? And now, only if it's elementary steps can we raise it to the coefficient. So this would be raised to the third. And that is the answer here. Um, just note that for all rate laws, right, doesn't matter if it's elementary or an overall reaction, right? Nobody cares about the products. That's why they just said products. When you're rate law, it's only about the reactants, okay? And then the only difference is that if they said that it's elementary, you can just raise it to the coefficients because the rate law will always abide by a elementary step. And that is it. How, how did this go? I hope this helped. Um, thanks so much for coming here, for getting your chem help. We also have physics videos and math videos on the channel as well. So you could check those out um, if you need help in those subjects. We're always here to help you. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for building the community and making it what it is. It wouldn't be anything without you guys. 
So we just put you know, we just put the videos out, but the real benefit is you guys watching it and doing great on those tests and quizzes. So, um, yeah, thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, always. I hope you always have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, all right, bye bye.